Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today. We've got a special, a fairly special unboxing. Um, we've got a bit of vacuum cleaner royalty in this one. Um, in here is an imported model. Um, as you can see, the box says Home Depot. So obviously Home Depot is not available in the UK. Yes, it is. It's b and Yes, yeah, it's just different. And the other thing is, we when you look at a couple of, um, like... Well, let's go through some of the what can I what can I say the um, the first models. You had the model O, which was the first Hoover cleaner. You had like the Hoover Seven Hundred, which was the first one with a beta bar, and here and here is another first. So we have a, a very special vacuuming great deed. Um, Paul's been looking out for one of these for quite a while. Um, they're not readily available in the UK full stop because these were generally American. Um, especially at this age of this particular model. So we have got the world's first, as they call it. A bit like Dyson said, all the world's first bagless machine and all this business. Well, this is the world's first of another model. So this one actually come from Chicago. Um, I would say with importing, uh, with the COVID, I've had things sent from the US that's not even turned up. So I actually waited um, a little bit longer to, to wait for everything to settle down. We actually did this video on the Vintage Week when we did the Dyson DC01 Absolute. It's not cut, it's good. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get my hand with this I'm one. Sure the tape is so hard. So the guy... I think maybe a collector or something. Um, the machine is in good condition, generally. Yeah, we'll take, yeah, we'll just take that. Yeah, that's that's the way, mate. He's put two boxes together. Um, very, very strong boxes indeed, actually. So before we open it, we've had a little issue with the, uh, he has really well packaged it, which is good because it's come a very long way. Mm. Um, I think it took less than two weeks to come. So get this one open and see what we got. So a bit of vacuum cleaner roll here. Right, so we have, these are the genuine bags for this one. So oh, look at the other one I got. The power yeah, so genuine Hoover bags. So it has a repair to the top, which is a very common fault. Uh, paint works in good condition. Mm. The age. I'm trying to get this one. It's so heavy. So these are quite heavy. Um, we'll, we will get the sound meter out on this one just to give you guys some idea how loud it actually is. Some of you have never heard one of these because this is the Hoover Dilematic. Now this should be the original version. Just put a bit of time up here. Yeah, that's fine. You have to cut off. In here, as the nameplate suggests, this is the Hoover 1100 model. The first. Clean air. Clean air vacuum. Upright vacuum cleaner. So this is a benchmark machine. These are, to get one in this particular condition, it, I would say it's fairly, it's very rare indeed, actually. We don't know what it's going to sound like and how it's going to run. Gonna so this one was dated around 1963. So this was fairly space age when it first came out it also has the hoover cleaner makes rugs last longer that's what they took from the original um 700 uh, model which was the very first one with the uh the positive ag aggregation so this Ooh. is the original dilematic um so what's the difference well i'll tell you the main difference these the helix on these are reversed. The later ones, I don't know if we did a video, and the later ones, they turned this the opposite way around because it's sweeping the wrong way to improve, to improve performance. And I need to clean up the spiders out. Right, so what we're going to do now, we'll have another look here. So it's not bad. It's in brilliant condition. Um, it is almost like a pinky ready color it's a pinky ready color um i'm not going to use no car it's the original one pinky ready color i'm not going to use no car products on this one on this bit here because it no does bag. no and, bag and the screen's all damaged uh, that's fine 
Look, you got to remember, this is the first one. We can take it, just take a screen out. No, just you to you. You have to make one. Oh, the we. So the paint work on this one is absolutely in very good condition indeed. Um, I'm sure with a bit of cleaning products, this will come up quite nice. I think it is. It's a little bit bleached, some bleached here, by the looks of it, but it's not bad. The 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 Hoover logo is fine. The Hoover logo is slightly a bit like less faded, but it is from. 1963. And I want the spiders to be cleaned out. So what we'll do, we'll clean these spiders out before we actually um, fire the thing up. Two pin plugs together. Um, it also does have a switch on the handle. A lot of the UK machines had them on the floor. Uh, the Dynamanic. Um, that this switch on the handle goes back to the Art Deco style vacuums, really. So I've uh, built this machine up. Um, the foot is a little bit perished, but it's all right as a demo. Um, it's got like a quite a. It's not like a soft filter. It's like a you could put something over the top of that or something, or we could just borrow one from another machine. So the foot is a bit perished, but we're not bothered because it is one of the first. Um, but well, it is the first model of the Hoover Dynamatic. The main difference between this and the later ones is this one does not have a bagging, bag indicator. It's uh, more of a orangey, peachy color. Um, there's very little scratches. I think there's a slight mark there, which is nothing. I mean, considering when you get to look at some of the Hoover seniors, how bad they are. Um, it's got this repair kit. That's a common fault with these, actually, is the handles go loose um even i think even the um the starlight handles go loose eventually but the other interesting thing is these things open from the back but what we've done now we've put the bag in this is a genuine Uber bag um type d these bags actually go upside down um but that is because really the fill tube was at the bottom opposed to at the top because top fill wasn't really a big hoover thing back in the 60s um so it, it clips in like that and that's bits that's fine um the reason why it's called dialomanic is because it's got the dial on the back for all the different settings um so you've got high medium and low on the carpet use and then tool use you have low medium and high most people to be honest with you will probably have it on the high setting on all of it especially the tools because there ain't vastly of that amount of suction coming from them um we've got a tool set to go on that so we can um maybe use do a video with this with the tools on or a set of tools so that actually with a repair cut the handle is nicely um um, for a dynamatic, it's 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 very very strong actually. Um, it does also match the color scheme. It's a very very good match indeed. Very common fault with them. I think this was an official Hoover repair kit for it actually. And back in the day, these days, if a handle fell off, you'd be down the shop buying a new one. Well, back in the 60s, and the 70s, and the 80s, people would be trying to fix it. So that's where the difference it is today. So it's not bad for the age overall. Um, it is, like you say, once we get the old uh, polishing kit on that, and we'll use some, I'm gonna source some um, car dashboard cleaner for this, I think. Maybe a gloss one, a nice gloss car dashboard cleaner, I think. Because that's this here reminds me of a dashboard sort of material in a car, actually this part here while well, the rest of it can be used with the normal um, blah blah you know so what we'll do now we'll switch this one on and see how it sounds so we'll switch it on oh, because it's got a transformer but we'll put the transformer on that's off um, so what I've done you got the grooves at the top here. So 
So I've put the grooves in the top. Not too sure how they go in on the US ones. I don't think it makes much difference. Um, too much. Um, normally they've got a bigger spade. So we'll switch this one on now. Coles, already in the old way. Uh, I can, this is like, like a Baker Lake switch. And we'll see if this one goes bang. And this one is very, very similar to the one they used on Bewitch. The Bewitch was uh, an almost identical model to this one. Um, so these old machines will blow out dust. So this is the world's first clean air upright vacuum from 1963 to 65. It's not 100% sure when they released it. I've also seen people say that it was 62, but I think it was around 63. Um, it was a game changer because it combined um, the, the, what we like about this one was the way the tools go in the back of the machine. Um, some of them have a cradle where you can put the tools on as well. Um, as well, some of them have, do they have a hook for it on some of them? <gasps> the bag door's shut. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> probably why you... So overall, we're pretty pleased with this one. We're going to do another demo on this one. So we have got another first, the original Dolomatic from 1963. Um, he's smashed, he's over the moon with this one so far. Um, he actually wants to give it a go. So we're going to let him have a little play with this one. And we'll do another follow-up video after I can clean and try and get this one maybe looking a little bit better. But it's going to be pretty difficult because it is absolutely in smashing condition overall. Mm. So bye for now. Please subscribe to Vacuum Addict and thanks for watching. Bye. bye.